and we're live. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to today's match here at Borough Park as Warrington Rylands travel to Workington AFC. The first uh, match back in the Northern Premier League since Rylands is 4 0 win against Fackley, thanks to goals from Dylan Dwyer, uh, Jake Burton, and Luke Porter. Last time out against Workington, uh, the hosts were 2 0 up going into the first half. And thanks to a equaliser from James Neils, uh, Rylands was able to go away from Borough Park, uh, making it 2-2. Two, two. Last time out on an away journey, saw us beat Morpeth Town as the referee just guides the two teams out onto the pitch here at Borough Park. A huge reception for both sets of the sides as uh, we've got some mascots waving their flags as well. He's just checking the goalkeeper, ready to kick things off as he blows the whistle and lays it back and launches it down to the left hand side now from Caden Kamara. And the ball's going to go behind for the first throw of the game. As the ball's going towards midfield now towards uh, Simington, who's going to be under pressure now from Dan Amaro. Simington's done really well there to body off Dan Amaro, and eventually the foul was given against the Rylands player. So it's going to be a free kick just in front of the halfway line um, for the captain to take him. So Simington to take this one, it's a right foot of Kerlin one, it's a lovely delivery. Being away just enough by Matt Regan, only to find Luke Pillen. As uh, Rylands need to try and get forward now, as they've got plenty of blue players behind the ball. Here's Ben Arcastle, tries to keep this one in, it's a lovely pass from James Bailey, finds Ben Arcastle in the high area. Arcastle now, plays the ball into boards. nice little one too, can see Dan Romaro try to cross this one in. Ben, James Bailey was offside in the process though, so he couldn't really get a touch on it. First chance of the game so far for Ireland as he ends the 18 yard box. Lovely touch there from Liam Morris can find Ben Harcastle. Liam Morris offering the overlap and running gonna cross this one in. Which might be a chance now for Ireland. Lovely header from James Bailey, but gonna go over the top now and behind a four Wakinson goal kick. Pillen launching this one over the top, looking to get towards some Masanka. Does fall in a nice area though for Ben Harcastle to pick one up. Harcastle lays it off towards right hand side for Liam Morris, enters the 18 yard box, crosses this one in, Masanka surely. Good save there from Mitchell, gonna go behind for a corner. First save of the game for the number one. And uh, it was a good one as he just tips that one over the crossbar. Masanka's header just goes straight down the middle as the goalkeeper lays that one over the goal and behind for a corner kick. Ball five forward now from the goalkeeper. Finds Aaron Pickles, he heads it forward. Here's Ben Arcastle, chests it well, but might be an overturn though. It's a lovely turn there from Ben Arcastle. Ryland's getting forward now on numbers. Lays off towards left hand side. Took a deflection in the way, but it's nice enough for Jay, uh, James Bailey to enter the 18 yard box. Bailey now, going to shoot on his uh, right foot. Good save there from the goalkeeper. And behind for another corner kick. Ryland's getting into the swift of things now. Now they do though, here's James Bailey, lays it off towards number Sanka, here's Dan Amaro, Ryland's now naked as a space to run into, here's Ben Harcastle, Harcastle, still Harcastle on the right hand side, shoots, and it hits the post, Masanka now, Masanka going to shoot from distance, takes the deflection, still going to be in play though, as Dylan Dwyer is able to win this one forward, cross the ball, it's low cross, doesn't find Ben Harcastle, and going to go behind for a Wakington throw and that's half time here. Ryland's held the moment 0 0 after some fantastic chances and some really good saves from Alex Mitchell. Um, denying James Bailey as well as Antunda Masanka. And it's going to, um, of course, we have Ben Harcastle as well hitting the post. So it's going to see 0 0 here at Borough Park heading into half time. We'll be back in about 50 minutes' time, ready for the second half. Now it was um, Jamie Allen's able to go up against Aaron. Pickles and referees are interested in the shape pulling that Aaron Pickles is doing. Allen's done really well there. There might be a chance now for work. It's on the edge of the area. Oh well now, shot taken, fire straight over. Took a deflection on the way off. Matt Regan. I think Matt Regan's down in quite a fair bit of pain. So in swing a corner now for Wakinson. Cross is going to come in. It's a decent one. Luke pulling left in his goal. And it goes, got shot goes behind and in the back of a net. A player was down the process there, and I think it's Jordan Little. He's got Wakins in the lead. Wakins is able to get that set piece goal, and it was just tapped into the back end there. All of a sudden, uh, the player who was down, cross might be an opportunity for Ryland here. Here's Dean Fairman, cross it in, it's a good one. Oh, hits the post, 
it's the post. I think it was James Bailey who took that one. What an attempt there from James Bailey. Shot was taken and it hits the left side of the post. Left the keeper at a full stretch. So Bailey to take. It's a low one. Flicks through. And Aaron Pickles wasn't, didn't get enough touch on it. League Town losing 1 0 to Works Up Town. Uh, Heaven 4 0 up against Bamber Bridge. Guys, they 2 0 up against Hyde United. But if Matt Sankes, the Sanker might have a chance there. No offside given against the shot. Taking it to goal. No offside given whatsoever as Masanka grabs Rylands and equaliser. And Wakens and fans aren't happy with that whatsoever. But Rylands have equalised here. And some of Masanka getting the second goal of the Northern Premier League for the Blues. And it's all level here at Borough Park. So, ball fired down the right hand side from Luke Cullen. Finds Ben Arcastle. Brilliant touches it's up for someone who's had a brilliant game so far. Ben Arcastle lays it off towards Liam Morris. Cross comes in. Go. Does it force Ben Arcastle now? Arcastle still on his right foot. Going to take the shot. Takes up reflection. It's going to go behind for a corner kick. No chance. Ball picked up though again by Ray Glaze off towards Simmonson. He's going to go for a ball down the right hand side up against Lynn Dwyer. Dwyer gets ahead of it. Matt Regan is able to win that one. Could be a chance now for Wakington. Regan's rushing back as Riggs is going to cross this one. It might be a chance. Maybe McCarran now doesn't take the shot first time, but nice idea though from Dave Simmonson. He, he just lets that one dummy, but could be good cancel to on the shooting scene now for Ireland. Lee Morris rushing forward. A massive tackle there though from Swingle Hurst. McCarran now has done really well now. Up against Dan Amaro. Amaro gets a really good tackling on Simmonson. Could the cancel attack opportunity. Thomas Sanger is going to be able to win this one. Takes the shot. And it did get a save from Alex Mitchell there. And Rylands have got themselves a corner kick as we head closer and closer to the 90. But a massive chance there for Masanka. His shot was saved as he took it on the half volley. And there uh, could be a counter attack opportunity now for Wilkinson. Massive opportunity now. Dan Thompson wants to get ahead head to back. Is it enough though? It might be a chance to have Simpson. Shots taken. Good save from Luke Pillen. Could be a rebound though. Greg second. Another save from Pillen. Pickles with his hand up in the air there, apologising to the team. But what a display there from Luke Pillen with a double save to deny Wakinson from getting themselves a last minute goal. I think he missed touch that, but here's Ben Huff. Huff now able to beat two men. Huff over towards the right hand side towards Ben Harcastle. Harcastle enters the 18 yard box, crosses up, comes in, doesn't find Misanka. Huge chance there for Misanka. It's going to be a goal kick now, falls towards Rig. Back now towards Stricklehurst and back towards Savington. Who have a chance? Huge chance being away there for, from Aaron Pickles. Ball fell towards Wilkinson, right in front of Luke Pillen, and Pickles has done well there to make sure a shot wasn't made. Here's James Neal on the fouls, eventually. In fact, it's full time here, all level. Rylands held 1-1 away at Wakington here at Borough Park. A late goal, well, an equaliser from and some of Masanka was able to see Rylands equalise and, uh, and cancel out Brad Humboldt's goal. However, it is all shared points even here. And we are back against FC United, the Manchester this Tuesday at home. Thank you guys so much for listening to today's commentary and have a lovely rest of your evening.